Hi everyone, welcome back to a beautiful mess. Here's what's coming up in today's video. Before I walk you through this house though, I have to show you what happened this weekend. This is an x-ray of my 15 year old who swallowed a bullet. <laughs> Uh, it was actually while we were out of town and got a call from the ER saying that my son had swallowed a bullet. And yes, I didn't believe them either. When I saw this x-ray, I could not believe the size of that bullet. Anyway, I won't tell you the whole story because it's kind of long, but yeah, I just had to show you that because it's a pretty impressive x-ray and kind of a fun story. But anyway, this is the house that I am working on today. And I'll be working in the kitchen today. This is going to be another uh, three-part series to this house because I was here for a total of four days and there was a lot to do. So it's going to be a few different videos. And for those of you that were expecting the kitchen of the video where I posted the cleaning of the oven, um, I'm actually going to, back to that house this week to show you kind of a follow-up of what that homeowner has been working on over the last month or so since I've been there. So uh, I'm doing this video in between. So jumping back to that house probably next week. I also wanted to remind you or let you know of some ways that you can help me to help more families in these kinds of situations. There's of course always subscribing and liking this video and um, leaving comments, that always helps. Uh, but you can also show your support by using that super thanks button and just leave a little donation to say thank you and to help me help more families. Um, and then, of course, hit that bell if you want to be notified of uh, future videos that I put out. So all of that helps me to grow this channel so that uh, I can hopefully make this a full-time thing and help more families. Because right now I'm working about 70 hours a week between all of the jobs that I have just to try to make ends meet. So if I can focus more of my efforts on cleaning and helping these families and you can help do that, I would appreciate it so much. So this family I'm helping today is a family of five, mom, dad, and three kids. And mom and dad both have mental health conditions, um, including ADHD, major anxiety, depression, OCD, and uh, this has caused some financial hardship and the mom says that they just struggle to keep up with their house. Uh, and there's also some other stuff going on here that I'm not gonna get into because I really wanna protect the family. And, and I know that they watch these videos and their kids do. In fact, the kids were watching one of my videos while I was there cleaning. So anyway, to protect them, I'm not gonna go into everything that's going on here, but just know that there's a lot that this family's dealing with. So as usual, I'm starting off with the oven, getting some oven cleaner on there to let it sit. And this time I also use some super clean in addition to the oven cleaner. And you should see how well this worked. This was probably one of the most satisfying ovens I have ever cleaned. So it just wipes right off. You'll love it. Like I do at a lot of the houses I clean, I did a lot of laundry while I was here. Uh, probably somewhere between 15 and 20 loads over the four days that I was here. So, and this laundry room's right off the kitchen. So a lot of this extra laundry ended up in the kitchen all over the place. So I, that's why you see the dishwasher in the background and that's where I decided to sort it because it was the only place 
clear enough that I could get these three baskets out and sort this into just lights, whites, and darks. This family also has two cats. I only ever saw one of them. The other one I think was too shy to come out, but two black cats. They're, the one that I saw was very cute, very friendly. Uh, but anyway, they had a variety of kitty litter boxes because I think uh, one of them in particular was a little picky about which one it uses. So I had to kind of shuffle those around and clean up a lot of kitty litter. Because as you know, if you have a cat, they tend to kind of kick it out of their box. So it gets everywhere. I also wanted to let you know that as I was cleaning here, the mom was in the other room with her kids, had her hands full, but she kept coming over and just asking, you know, how I learned how to do all this, the cleaning and stuff, and was really wanting to learn um, some methods of cleaning and keeping it clean and organized. And it's, it's really just something some people don't naturally know how to do. And so I just, uh, you know, don't want you to judge the situation without having all the facts, but she really was trying to learn how to better keep her home. There's actually a part a little later on in the video where I kept the original sound in because she is in the background scrubbing the blinds in the kitchen while I clean the toaster because she wanted to do that on her own. When I left the first day, I left some cleaner with her and just told her how to do it and so she started cleaning them on her own and then finished it while I was there so I love when they're willing to jump in and help and learn and she was great this is just that same process of sorting out those clothes but from a little different angle I thought this was kind of a fun video to see it just pile up and to see kind of the mess that I'm dealing with in this kitchen and with all of this laundry I did the same thing that I did in my video clothes and clutter where I did a load of blankets and towels and took those outside to dry and then did another load of wash just because the dryer always takes longer so um, I got a little bit more laundry done that way so that we could get through this because as you can see there was a lot and you should have seen it strewn all throughout the house and by the way the mom was folding the laundry after I um, got it all washed and dried so I would take that out to the living room she'd get that done so here's just a look at after I cleared out some of some of those dishes, um, what was left over. But I had to put a lot of the dishes on the floor to soak for a little bit because there was just no other place to put it. There's a look at those dishes soaking on the floor. It was kind of hard to know what order to do things in here, but I thought I needed to get this floor cleaned up at least for the first time. Ended up doing two or three mops on, or sweep, sweeping and mopping on this floor. Uh, over the course of these days but 
yeah, just wanted to get this all swept up so I'm not stepping on crunchy stuff and and have a clean cleaner place to put some some items while I'm especially the laundry and things since it's just right there next to the kitchen. I didn't want it to fall out of the basket and just get dirty again. So I wanted to get this all cleaned up. I had to get out my handy dandy scraper to get a lot of this stuck on food and sticky stuff. I don't know what it all was, but there's a lot of sticky stuff on this floor, so how to scrape it up. But uh, that's another way that you can actually support me and the work I do is by using my Amazon affiliate links that are in the description. So if you want a scraper, if you want any of the cleaning products that I use, almost all of them are, or at least my favorite ones are in that description area. And if you use the link, it doesn't cost you any extra. It just um, gives me just a small percentage of whatever you purchase through that link. So if you feel like getting some new tools to try out, if you'd use my link, I'd appreciate that. Thank you. And speaking of favorite tools, this is one of my favorites, my squeegee. I think you'll probably see this in just about every video. That, my scrapers, my uh, clean detail brushes, or the wire brushes. Uh, of course, Scrub Daddy products, love them. Uh, and on this floor, I use the pink stuff, mopping formula. But I try to use a lot of different kinds of products just to see what I like. So I try to remember to tell you what I'm using in each case. But it's a lot of more of that sticky stuff. This is where the trash can was. So, of course, you're going to see a lot of gunk that falls out and sticks to the floor there. So another part to the story of this family is uh, they have a two-year-old. So when mom was pregnant with him, I guess her pregnancies are kind of hard, um, or at least it was with him. And so dad was trying to take care of the house and everything while mom was dealing with that. And he has ADHD, and it really just got really overwhelming. and. Uh, I guess he kind of gave up, I don't know, but it was it was just a lot to keep up with. And so things kind of, once they start spiraling, it's hard to get them back under control. So she told me that she was so surprised and grateful that I got back to her because it had been about probably two months, close to two months since she first contacted me and I had a lot of other houses I needed to get to, and you know she was on my list for a long time, but I wasn't able to get to her until now, so she was very uh, thankful that I actually followed through and came to help, and I was so happy to have found such a fun, dirty house to clean. Loved it. Oh, how I wish everyone had a stainless steel sink because they look so much nicer when they're clean than the porcelain ones. The porcelain ones get stains and they're just, I don't know, it just doesn't, it's just not as satisfying to clean. But I love the look of stainless steel when it's all shiny and clean.
And another thing I wish every home had was one of these sprayers because <laughs> that makes it a lot more convenient too. If you guys follow Ari Katarina, uh, I am jealous of their bathrooms and how they have a drain in their bathrooms and uh, sprayers in all of their bathrooms. So you can just scrub it down and wash it down the drain. It would make it so much easier to clean a bathroom. I joined a YouTube live thing that Midwest Magic Cleaning did the other day, and he was talking about Ari Katarina and how different the houses here in the U.S. are, and uh, that he would love to see her clean one of the houses here that has carpets and, you know, these different levels and all these different rooms. Anyway, there's just so much different about the homes in the U.S. that do make it a little harder to clean, and I don't know why we haven't come around to you know, some of the European standards of how they make their homes, but the carpets especially can make it difficult to keep a home clean and smelling fresh because those carpets keep a lot of those smells and it's hard to get rid of. Uh, I happen to have carpets as well and it's, uh, we have a carpet cleaner, which you've seen me use in one of my videos and I actually use it in this house too. And you know, you'll see that when I do the, the living room, but so that helps a little bit, but it still isn't the same. I really want to get some hardwood floor or something to be able to keep it cleaner and smelling fresher, but carpet is a cheaper option for it in most cases. And so a lot of homes here have carpet. Okay. Well, enough about carpet. <laughs> We're cleaning a stovetop here. And I used a different product, not the super clean. I use that a lot, but this thing, which I'll show you, see, um, it's like a, a sander almost, but for cleaning. So it's got a little bit of a grit to it. And it made this so shiny afterwards that mom came in and was just in awe of how I got it so shiny. And anyway, I left that with her to clean the stovetop in the future, but I was pretty impressed with this. And I'll add this one to my links because I really liked it. The other product I like to use on stovetops is the Still Scour Daddy. And I use it a lot on ovens, but it works great on stovetops too. So I would recommend either one of those products for the stovetop. It gets off everything. So look for that link as well. It's in there near the top. Okay, is that not the cutest color microwave? This microwave, the toaster and the KitchenAid, I loved the color. You'll see them all in this video, but so cute. Made me want to redecorate my kitchen. I left some of the original sound in here because I love this sound, the satisfying scrubbing sound. Oh, and by the way, this is that still scour daddy that I was just talking about. Started the microwave there. Yep. 
There's that super cute KitchenAid I was talking about. And I left the original sound in again because there's going to be some more scrubbing. Oh, and scraping, which is another very satisfying sound. This is for those of you who were so worried about my lungs. <laughs> so I wore my mask this time before I sprayed this cleaner. And again, I use Super Clean and Oven Cleaner on this. Both of them make me cough, so it's probably always a good idea to use my mask, but don't always it's kind of uncomfortable and I know that should be no excuse but it's also very hot and I tend to get really hot really easy anyway and it makes me angry So I found out after I had scrubbed out these little cracks right here in between the door uh, that the whole door came off. <laughs> and so I could have just taken it over to the sink and cleaned it out there. But no, I have to do things the hard way. Okay, so here's some of our original conversation while I'm cleaning the toaster where you can hear the homeowner cleaning the blinds in the background. Why they made it with that crevice in there? The cre oh, this! Yes. I know. I'm like, I'm like, yeah. Yeah. It collects all the crumbs. crumbs. I know. It's everything. Kind of funny. Mm -hmm. Think they would? Oh, Thank God. about that yeah. in the design, but oh well. <laughs> but I did get. I mean, I've got this little thing that got it out pretty well. Oh, so that's just went, cool. And that little thing that I'm referring to as my. A fine detailing brush or wire brush, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, I love this thing, especially for those small, small spaces. And despite that design flaw, 
where it catches those crumbs in the, that crevice. It was just a super cute toaster. So just so you guys know, I am planning on releasing the video of the kitchen from the last house I was at, uh, but we are going camping again this weekend. It's where we've been gone the last three weekends. Last weekend we were in St. George, this, or the weekend before that we were in Bryce Canyon, this weekend we're at Strawberry Reservoir. Anyway, there's just a lot of pretty places to camp here in Utah, so we're trying to get that all in uh, before school starts next month. So. Plans change sometimes, but that is the plan as of right now. But like I said, there will be two more videos of this house, so stay tuned for those. And I just wanted to show you the before and after of the blinds that the, the homeowner did. I thought they turned out excellent. She did such a good job. I'm sure a lot of you can relate to this, just that thick coating of grease that gets on everything in the kitchen. So I actually had to scrape it off. It was so thick. I also wanted to take another opportunity to remind you not to judge these situations because you don't have the whole story. Uh, I want to put that in there because even when I do put reminders in not to judge, it seems like I still get comments that the homeowners usually end up reading and it makes me feel bad for them because, and I, I do warn them that there, there could be some comments that they may take offense to, but not to, not to uh, let it bother them because people are going to have their opinions and um, they don't know the whole situation. so. Just try to keep those judgments to yourself. Okay, here is that oven that was so satisfying to clean. Look at how that just melts off. Just a thick black goo. I really think the addition of using super clean with the oven cleaner was the key to getting this to melt off just like that. Plus I did also leave it for a few more hours. Well, maybe not a few more hours, a couple more hours uh, this day. I almost forgot about it. I was about to leave and then remembered, oh, I haven't cleaned the oven yet. So I hurried and ran back and cleaned that. Okay, here it comes, the before and after, best part. Can you believe how shiny that is? So amazing. And then just one more quick photo of a before and after. And then the rest of the, the kitchen. Isn't this the cutest kitchen? I love it. I love the colors. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention the crock pot was also those same cute colors. Okay, and here's some before and afters. Thanks for watching this extra long video. I hope I made it worth it with all the little satisfying details. But again, I'll just remind you to subscribe, like this, leave a comment, 
Uh, if you want to do a super thanks, that's always appreciated. And then hit that bell if you want to be notified of when my next video comes out. So I appreciate all of you so much. Have a great week. Bye.